Abdurrahman Mahiri, it's such a pleasure to have you with us. I wanted to talk to you about your wonderful association of Tunisian free thinkers. Tell us about the organization. You've just been legally recognized. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. It's a very great pleasure to meet you in person. And uh, uh, thank you for uh, interviewing me. So our association has been active since 2013. And uh, we have been uh, officially uh, legal and uh, recognized uh, Jan January 2017. Uh, we have organized few manifestations and uh, protesting against uh, religious-based laws, uh, laws that uh, uh, laws that are uh, uh, a clear uh, discrimi gen gender discrimination against women, laws that limit freedom of speech and belief, uh, and against the Constitution itself, because uh, the problem that with the Constitution is that it contradicts itself in a, in a real funny way, because it says that the, the state is the sponsor of the religion in the term of uh, making sure uh, what is considered sacred to the ma majority of population doesn't get abused by uh, what we atheists or free thinkers would criticize. So we have the right of conscience and uh, freedom of speech, but we by according to the constitution we have no right to criticize the religion uh, and that's what uh, our constitution looks like right now and i don't think it's uh, it's going to work uh, and it's not going to last anymore because either you reinforce the freedom of speech either you reinforce uh, reinforce the uh, uh, the stigma in the in, in the constitution itself that's, that's, that's what I, I think. So, uh, a lot of the work you do actually does contradict that, doesn't it? From defending the right to eat during Ramadan yes. to defending LGBT rights. So, how does that, what, how does that play out with your conflicts uh, that yeah. it causes? We, our, we, we, don't, uh, we, don't, we don't think it's, it's, it's an easy job to do and we we have had uh, confrontations with, with the authority, with CAPS, with the Minister of uh, Interior Affairs, which means a security or a, uh, And uh, we have struggled, we have been kicked off the street few times for what's called cons security concerns or security reasons. Uh, so the the, the Constitution has put the government itself into an intimidating situation. The Islamists had the opportunity to put whatever they considered good for their beliefs, which is uh, the right for the state to defend the religion itself, but still with some other efforts uh, there has been some. There have been some laws also that uh, reinforce the freedom of speech and uh, and and belief and conscience. But what's happening on the ground right now is the domination of Islamism in in the in what's uh, in the in what's really have been practiced by the by the government and by the authorities in general. So uh, obviously there's this sort of uh, fight back that you're doing against the attempts by Islamism to restrict these things. Exactly. And you do that in various, uh, very interesting ways from eating during Ramadan yes. and from uh, defending LGBT rights. Explain why you do those sort of direct actions and the implications it has. Because we, I believe throughout history, uh, the soft resistance that criticize from inside that you don't want to really show off as an atheist like uh, you want to show off as a person who is trying to uh, to preach for acceptance and for tolerance this approach has never ever worked 
in, in any country. You have all the examples of the predominantly Muslim countries or Islamic uh, countries like let's, let's say Saudi Arabia, Iran. This approach has never brought anything good. So we have decided that taking, taking the first wave is a really hard and tough uh, job to do. But if this doesn't happen, the change will never start. So we were believing that uh, in order for the change to start, we have to be taking direct action against the society itself, against the religion itself, against the government and against what is so-called the uh, social illusion. Because what we also believe is that no matter how peaceful the religion it is, no matter how they make it look cute and nice, it is still an illusion. And illusion is always to be fought because illusion is illusion. We wouldn't let anything, we wouldn't preach for Santa Claus because Santa Claus is peaceful. Yeah. But uh, would you say then to people that uh, accuse you possibly of uh, hurting people's sentiments and saying that you shouldn't do things like that, why do you have to eat during Ramadan, you need to respect people's beliefs, what would you say to them? Yes, I believe that respecting people's beliefs should never be affecting my own beliefs of freedom. As long as I don't act violently against anyone, I don't physically harass anybody, I don't act against them, I don't limit their freedom. I don't think that should hurt anyone. I think the, uh, the, real, uh, the real regulator or definition of hurting someone's feelings should be really uh, defined by the law, which is a big mistake that we don't have things very well defined. That when, when we say like uh, you're uh, going against the good moralities of the population, which is in the constitution, it's a law, you can never define what is morality, what is not. Some guys were taken to jail for smoking in public during Ramadan daytime by the law of morality. So smoking in public is against morality. Being born naturally gay person is against morality. Being an atheist, saying out loud that you're atheist is against morality. So by moralities and people's feelings, they could literally limit or uh, take away every kind of freedom you could ever have. So we're not buying that. We're not doing anything violent. We are, every time we go to protest, we protest in a legal way. We ask for a police permission before we go do that because otherwise we don't have any other option because if they have a reason to stop us they would always do it happily so but we're still doing everything legal and we just want the government to leave the religion alone we i don't want to have a government that is considering itself the sponsor of religion that's the exact fair translation of the of the constitution itself I don't want to have a government that babysits the religion for my money that I pay with taxes. I don't want the government to interfere in my life, in my own beliefs, in my, uh, in my way of living. Also, the problem with Islam in, in, in particular is that uh, the Islam gives the right to, to Muslims to interfere in your life. They have the right to correct you if you're doing something wrong. That's, that's the real problem with Islam. And I don't want people to convert to atheism. I don't want people to stop believing in their God. I just want them to understand that secularism is good for them and is good for us. And that's what we always, uh, that's the slogan we always adopted is that secularism is the only way for us to be living in peace together with no uh, like unnecessary wars, unnecessary fights. Why, why do you think secularism is good? I mean, some people it, it could be Western, it could be from other planet, it could be from anywhere. But what's, 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 what's a better system for all of us to be living in peace together? I wouldn't, let you, I wouldn't ask you to, to change anything you believe in as long as you don't force me to believe in, in your belief system. So that's, I think that's the only way humanity has ever uh, 
created for for every one of us to be living together in peace. And what about people who say that Tunisia doesn't really have any problems? You, you live in a very liberal society, that's what we often hear about Tunisia. Yeah, you could read the constitution yourself. You could see that, uh, for example, during, uh, during 2016, thousand persons were arrested for, for profanity or blasphemy just by cursing with anything invo involving God. Like if, imagine if you're in the States and you go to jail for saying Jesus Christ. This is, this is what's happening in Tunisia. People are still going through anal tests because homosexuality is criminalized. That's what is happening. Those are the laws. And I also, I, 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 like I have just said, the, the Tunisian government is very successful in advertising a democratic picture. But what's happening on the ground, what's being practiced, is, is something very, very different. Do you uh, feel that there's risks involved? There must be. Well, there are always risks, of course. Uh, you have your risk. You risk uh, the government's brutality itself represented by the cops in the streets, which, which we, have, we have already faced. And you have also their, uh, their insensitivity when an atheist person is being aggressed because of who they are. Uh, for example, I have heard some, some gay person was in the police station because for being robbed himself. And then they found out he's gay. He looked gay, as they said, and they made him go through anal test. So that's what's happening. The, the Constitution isn't, isn't, isn't the worst, isn't so bad. But you have absolutely no guarantee of it being practiced. The practice on the ground is something very, very different from the Constitution itself, which is also having big problems too, I believe. So is it worth the risk then? Well, I think uh, not trying to change is, is a big mistake. I mean, we, you, you, you have to be very silly if you think you can change everything yourself. But not trying is a big mistake too, and it's a crime against your own people, your own nation, and, and everyone you love. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much.